Hey there friends of Castro Valley. We are back at the Lake Chabot Public Market. That was our first restaurant review when we began and now we're about 10 or so deep. We're here to try the new Poke Eatery or Poke Eatery if you want to say. They're a very small chain. Uh, the first location located in San Mateo and this actually being their second location. Oddly enough their third is going to be Austin, Texas but it actually has a nice need for modern food like this. Now we've already been in this area, sampled at the Milk and Cookie Bar, sampled Shumi Ramen, sampled T4Ts, so this is our next spot. I think I'm gonna just try one of the poke bowls today. Let's talk. Let's okay. Well, let's see. For the base, you know, if I could actually, I really like the kelp noodles that you sampled to me. You're welcome to try samples of everything. So, if possible, I'll do half kelp noodles and half white rice, please. No problem. Fantastic. And then your second step is your hexes. You have to put some white in there, then you can cover the maple, which is a red Hawaiian seaweed. It's a little bit grindy and salty. You know, for my mix-ins, let's do some green onions and a little bit of the seaweed. I'll be uh, adventurous today. That's actually one of the more traditional, or actually oh. these two uh, mixes are the more traditional yeah. mixes. Yeah. Fresh, briny. Yep. Alright, next is going to be your two sides. We have the crab salad, the spicy crab, the seaweed, and the edamame. Great. You know, I'll try the spicy crab as well, because I'm a spice lover. And let's do the seaweed salad as well. Now, I think I'll definitely try the ahi tuna. Alright, you get three more scoops. Let's do two ahi tuna. Uh -huh. Let's try one octopus, right. see how that's cooked. And then also some salmon, just one scoop. Right. So four scoops, that's a lot of protein to be honest. And then for your topping, you can choose as many as you like, but avocado is a dollar. Fantastic. Well, you know, for this, being that we're going nice and creamy, a little extra fat from the um, mayo in a good way, why don't we go with some cilantro, something nice and fresh. Okay. A little kimchi off the side, if that's what I see. Okay. Give us a little Korean flair. Yes. And I'll finish off with just a little bit of the fish eggs if I want. Okay, perfect. So we just got an amazing poke bowl from Poke Eatery. Now, poke is a Hawaiian dish that is generally fresh fish marinated they have different ingredients from soy sauce to um, ponzu, which is a little soy, and yuzu, which is a type of citrus marinade, to a little chili and sesame oil. So we see lots of Japanese influence in Hawaii due to the vicinity um, uh, across the Pacific Ocean. Now here we have a nice assortment of things. I started with some white rice and some kelp noodles as a base. And these, they actually let me sample at first. They're a little crunchy as they're made of seaweed, but actually really great for you. Then I got some mix-ins, which I add to my protein. So really great portion size here. I got two scoops of tuna, one scoop of salmon, one scoop of octopus, because I want to see how that is cooked. With some added green onions and a little seaweed in there as well. And then, also some spicy crab and some seaweed salad is a nice side for me. Essentially, those of us that love sushi and want lots of quantity, this is a fantastic place to go. What makes it a little bit different than traditional poke is rather than having the proteins marinated beforehand, it's very customizable. You get to choose what sauces, you get to choose what bases. Very chipotle style in a way, where they can accommodate to every taste, whether it be gluten-free, a shellfish allergy, or just someone that really loves sushi like me. So now, let's dig in and take a look. Let's start with a piece of the salmon here, which I've marinated in spicy mayo and a little hot ponzu sauce. Mmm. Really good texture, really fresh. Melts in my mouth, actually. I think that was maybe even closer to the belly of the salmon. Let's try some of the tuna. Mmm. You know, even though traditional poke, you marinate for a longer time to get more flavor, this actually has so much flavor. Not enough, not, not too much spice, perfect amount. Let's finally try the octopus, because this, being that it's a cooked protein, it can be chewy, let's find out. You know, it definitely has some texture, not chewy. We got a sweetness, very nice sweetness that octopus has. Now, any of these proteins aren't to your liking, they of course have crab and they have shrimp and tofu, a lot of things to work with. Let's try our spicy imitation crab here. Mmm. Sweet, fresh, spicy. It's like diving into basically a spicy California roll. With that seaweed salad as well. I prefer mine with a little bit more dressing in that point, but otherwise everything bounced together. It is fantastic. Now some guests 
being that they're looking for more of a bowl type environment, they would actually take this container, close it up, and shake it. Everything's mixed together. However, this is a great way to mix and match, pick everything you want. What I think is best about this, this whole box is $12.50. Really not much at all. If you were to get two sushi rolls, little ones, you would be looking at about a $14 price point as well. This, for me, is a lunch and a half. So I'm gonna be going into dinner with this lovely meal right here. Love that you can customize everything to whatever taste you want, whether you go far to the ethnic side with some kimchi as I have here, or keep it more traditional, just shrimp, a little spicy mayo, white rice, and maybe some sesame seeds on top. Great concept, great people working here, and you really want to appreciate those behind the counter. Now, my very first job that I worked with in culinary school was called Freshie. It was a wrap and burrito and coffee concept, everything completely customizable. Yeah, great customer service, one-on-one -on -one interaction, but those behind the counter, that is a lot of work and pressure on them. So really appreciate those working at Poke Eatery, at Chipotle, at your Freshies, because they're there to accommodate you, give you a fantastic meal at a good price, and make sure you leave happy. I don't really have any qualms about Poke Eatery. At first I was thinking, you know, with the price point, the portion size may be small, but this is fantastic. The location is great with T4Ts nearby or the milk and cookie bar for some dessert afterwards. Go to C&H Meats and pick up some meat to cook on your way home. Now actually they have access to the cold case where they're selling some really great Asian ingredients. So again, come join the Poke Eatery for a really nice lunch or dinner even. Great portions of fresh seafood that tastes fantastic. And join the Lake Chambeau Public Market soon for everything else.